Example 2, we want to find the values of x and y, then find the value of each angle. Notice we have vertical angles, and we know that vertical angles are congruent. Let's start with our x's. We can set 4x equal to 6x minus 26. We can subtract 6x from both sides, giving us negative 2x equals negative 26 which means 2x equals 26. Divide by 2, and we get x equals 13. All right, I'm going to write this down to the left, and now I want to solve for my y's. Again, we have vertical angles, which means I can set 7y minus 12 equal to 6y plus 8. I can add 12 to both sides, giving me 7y equals 6y plus 20. Subtract 6y from both sides. I get y equals 20. Okay. And I'll write that down to the left as well. So I have x equals 13 and y equals 20. Now I want to go back and look at what my question was asking for. It wants the values of x and y, which I have and then find the value of each angle, which I need to do. Let's start with 4x. For that first angle, I do 4 times 13, which gives me 52. So angle 1 is 52 degrees. Now, notice what I can do. If angle 1 is 52 degrees, then its vertical angle is also 52 degrees. Also, if angle 1 is 52 degrees, then its supplementary angle has to be 180 minus 52, which is 128 degrees, which also tells us that the bottom angle is 128 degrees. So once I plug in my values for one angle, it becomes very easy to find the measures of the remaining angles. And you can always double check this by substituting your values in. For example, I could substitute y for 6y plus 8. I get 6 times 20 plus 8, 120 plus 8, 128, which is the same as the number in green on your screen. Okay. Let's look at another example.